Since its 2017 founding, South Fulton has been known for its motto, City on the Rise. But for the past year, it's known for controversy. Regardless of who is at fault, I am still concerned that an environment existed where those things could happen. A top lieutenant resigned after allegations of drinking on the job, mishandling evidence, and misconduct. Its police chief accused of retaliation against those who spoke out. Its council and mayor divided. Its state representative frustrated. And I do see the city somewhat as my child. You know, I worked for 10 years trying to put this together. So I have no qualms with saying, if you don't fix it, then I will. To celebrate South Fulton's fifth year of cityhood, Mayor Kali Kamau paid for this TikTok using city dollars on the dancers plus their tuxedos. Even if it wasn't unlawful or illegal, at the very least, was it improper? I don't, I don't think it was improper. I, all, all of my expenses are reviewed by multiple people. Despite not admitting any wrongdoing, the mayor would have to reimburse the city. The district attorney is investigating overall spending by multiple city leaders, including the mayor. But a document obtained by Atlanta News First shows an internal audit already found charges from leaders, city credit cards connected to a student loan, a store membership, and payments to a voter outreach firm. It came as Mayor Kamau was questioned for his expenses and failure to turn in his receipts. You're used to deadlines, you're used to time constraints, and you weren't turning in those receipts in the proper timeline expected of you. Why not? Well, like I said, I, I, I never had the staff. For some neighbors and ongoing city council meetings, this current administration has failed us. Anger and disappointment toward leadership only mounted. A new council, a new mayor, and just start all over again because you all are not doing a good job with the city of South Fulton. They're not alone. The city's Parks and Rec director would cite the concern in his resignation last year, writing he disliked the politics, lack of trust, supportive leadership, unethical practices, abuse of authority, and unprofessional, inappropriate interactions from mayor, council. Adding the toxic environment and negative perception of South Fulton kills the morale motivation, and more importantly, discourages external candidates. I think that our, our, our council is somewhat divided, but if you really get out and talk to the citizens, they are united. There is a debate about what kind of city we're going to be. So help me God. So help me God. Mayor Kamau took office in January 2022. He then called for the resignation of the city manager, the attorney, and the clerk. None resigned. Council subsequently passed a resolution to publicly denounce the mayor's actions. By summer, after accusing the police department of corruption, its city council accused the mayor of misinformation. After, the city would ultimately pass a unanimous vote of no confidence in its elected official, a move to obtain separate counsel to legally address misleading allegations harmful to the good order of South Fulton. What do we want to be? What do we want to be known for? I would prefer to see things be different.